I've done a previous video showing some tips and tricks, and here's a follow-up. A little link to the previous one will pop up here, but let's show you some Power Query tips and a couple of Power BI tips. Let's go. Right, I'm gonna go and grab some Excel data to help me with my demo, my five country data. And I'm just following on from where I left off with the last video on, on tips about Power BI. Don't tick all these. I wanna consolidate these five countries. Just simply right click transform rather than ticking the individual ones. Okay, it's the tables I want, TBL calendar, TBL France. So I'm gonna filter this just for the tables and simply right click and remove other columns and then expand this out. Okay, then I'm gonna go for the old transform detect data type for it to work out what columns these are, text, decimals, okay. First little tip, if I wanted to change, or oh, first bonus tip, control shift plus to zoom in a little bit, control shift minus to zoom out, okay? Control shift plus, control shift minus. Okay, so if I wanted to change this column, this column, this column, and this one, all the decimals, what you can do is click on the first one, hold down shift, click on the last one, then you can click on any of these little icons, keeping your finger on shift, so my hand's still on shift, and I could change it to decimals and replace the current. And you see now all are decimals. However, if I delete that little step, if I want these three, so I've held control, and now I go and try and change this one, this one becomes deselected, which is pretty annoying. So you've got to click on it again then you click on it, no, it's really annoying, okay? So this is the trick. Hold on that click, 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 holding control, then put your finger on shift as well, and then click this, that locks it in. And now I can change them all to decimal numbers. Okay, so let me just transform that. Control A to select everything, detect data types. Click on this, control click, control click, Hold shift, change them all to whole numbers, for example. There we go. Okay, let's load this. Home, close and apply. Here's another one. This might be sorted by sales. So I've just clicked on this, sorted descending in sales. But what if I wanted to sort it by product first? Okay, click that, excellent. But what about product and then segment? Well, hold shift down. So shift, click on segment, and then hold the shift again and click on country. And now we're sorted by product, then segment, then country. Or if I want country going in the other order, hold shift, click on country, and it's going in the other order. Perfect, okay, hold shift again. There we go, okay. Uh, another little tip. Here's the slider, but I haven't got the big bubbles on the end. If you want the big bubbles, they default because responsive is on under the general settings. But if you want to turn them into little lines, turn responsive off. You can also get a, sometimes get a bigger font size to display by doing that. Okay. Okay, displaying numbers in millions. Um, best practice is recommended that you don't display more than four digits at a time. So I just want to display this in millions. So first of all, you've got to work out where you go to do that. My gut reaction would be values, but no, you don't go to values to format the values. You go to field formatting, and then you change the display units to millions. Okay, that's great. And then you can even change the decimals to maybe two or three decimals. But what if you don't want these M's to show? Well, there's no built-in way of turning those M's off. So what we have to do is this instead. We need to start again and this sort of idea with no M's showing. Now I haven't simply divided the number by a million. You could do that in your measure, but what I've got is just this formatting here 
and this is the choice that I've typed in to this box. The key thing is the comma commas. That's what nudges the numbers across. And I've also put my negatives to have brackets around them. And then my zeros to have a dash. So that's the formatting option for that. And then the last one um, I just want to talk about is moving sheets around. So um, let's say I do a copy of this. I right click and I duplicate the page and I want it to be right next to the other one. I've got to drag and drag again and drag again. So what do you do? Click and drag it up, press the tab key a couple of times and then you'll see the beginning of the file and you can just drop it down right next to where you were before. Okay, hope those little tips help. Hope you find them useful. Let me know what you think. Let people know about this channel. I'll catch you later.